Your past pain has qualified and anointed you to help others. Many who have been greatly hurt in the past have some of the greatest and strongest anointings from God to help others to be healed from the very same pain and trauma. When we have obeyed the Bible and forgiven everyone who hurt us like Jesus did, then God anoints us to help others who are going through similar wounds to learn how to forgive and to be healed. When we choose to forgive those who hurt us, then it allows our sins to also be forgiven by God, according to Matthew 6, 14 through 15. You are then able to understand why those who hurt you uh, did what they did because they were also hurt and they were wounded and they had demons that tormented their minds and caused them to hurt you. Then God uses that experience to anoint you to help others to heal from the very same pain that you endured through forgiveness. Your past painful experiences literally allow you to minister to others who have been hurt and abused in similar ways. You have a testimony of overcoming to encourage others. You learn not to take offense when others try to hurt you today. You forgive and love on others who are hurting. You do what Jesus did. So most who have been hurt and abused deeply have not truly forgiven all who have hurt them and are operating out of that pain demonically and hurting others, lying, selfish, controlling, prideful, sexually sinning, then others who have forgiven and repented for pride and sin uh, and are delivered, the Lord is then using to lead others out of their pain. But you have to be patient as it takes time for the Lord to position you when you are healed and not to position and manipulate yourself early by making connections happen and using social media or buying followers and influence. Pride is very prevalent and it's hard to be delivered from. It's a spirit called Leviathan. In Job 41.34 it says that it's king over all the children of pride. So when we're healed and we're delivered, the Lord will literally open doors that you simply have to walk through. No man can stop them. You will not have to manipulate anyone for favor as God's hands upon you. You can look at the life of Joseph. Joseph was rejected and hated and betrayed by jealous half-brothers, lied about by Potiphar's wife who wanted sex with him, and then put in jail for three years. Then finally, he was promoted to number two in all of Egypt. Then he was reunited with his brothers, uh, who th he then forgave, and then he rescued them to provide food for them and a place to live, along with his dad. Think about Mordecai in the book of Esther, hated by Haman because he was Jewish and plotted uh, to be killed along with thousands of other Jews. Then suddenly, Haman's plans were exposed to the king, and then he was replaced by Mordecai. And Mordecai got to live in his uh, lovely estate and then put him in command over the kingdom. And I'll think about my own sufferings. Uh, it was not fun to go through it. But ultimately, when I was able to forgive and to be healed, then the Lord anointed me to help lead others around the world to be able to understand that, yep, Christians do struggle with demonic spirits in their thoughts. They're oppressed by them. And we need to forgive. We need to repent. We need to come out of agreement uh, with what would give them rights to torment. 2 Corinthians 11, 16 through 33, Paul talks about all of his hurts, all of his wounds. And you can imagine how anointed Paul was. So I have a book called Freedom from Soul Wounds and Demons, and it's helping thousands of people around the world to get healed from their wounds and to get delivered so that they can actually be used by the Lord to help others. The book's available on Amazon in paperback, Kindle, and Audible. Again, Freedom from Soul Wounds and Demons. I also do personal sessions for people. If you're interested in that, go out to our website, restored2tofreedom.com. Click on Contact Me and submit the form or you can call 317-459-7091. Thanks.